What's going on, Internet? It is your boy, Eric Banholtz, back again with another awesome episode from Urban Beardsman. Hope all is going well on the other side of the Internet. Today, I'm going to talk to you about photography, and specifically how photography needs to be one of the primary skills that you need to focus on for 2016 and beyond. It's a skill that no one else seems to be talking about from a men's self-improvement blog standpoint, right? Everyone talks about getting fit, eating right, dressing better, you know, how to pick up ladies. Well, photography is one of those skills that can really start painting you in an awesome light. Now, if you're still a single guy, your photograph, your headshot, your image that you put out there on the world, that's going to be like you're number one player nowadays. Like the first thing that women do nowadays when they line up that date on Tinder or they swipe whatever direction they swipe on Tinder, they're gonna look you up, they're gonna Google you and they're gonna look at your LinkedIn profile, your Facebook profile, your Twitter profile. And if that photo doesn't paint you in the best light, it's gonna make the, the battle like an uphill battle. So photography is gonna, learning photography is gonna help you understand what makes a good photo and a bad photo. Now, beyond that, if you're not a single guy, if you're like me, you're married, you're locked down, you guys probably already know this, but we're the ones who are left with the camera to document all the precious moments in life. You know, the birth of your children, uh, the kids growing up, you know, facilitating uh, your proposal, all that stuff. Like photography is like an inherent part of your life in so many different ways that you've got to be good at it. Now, it doesn't always mean you have to be taking the pictures. Like your wedding, obviously you can't be photographing your own wedding, but what you can do is know what good photography is, understand what it takes, and then once you know that information, you're going to be able to seek out and find other people who can do good photography. And those moments only happen once. And photographs are great ways to document those moments in life. Now, the skill of becoming a better photographer is not only advantageous in your personal life, but it's also your work life. You know, like we talked about your profile photo on LinkedIn. And uh, it's so much more than that. Like, for me, we got into, I got into photography because I needed to take photographs of products, right? And I needed to do YouTube videos. And I needed to do lifestyle photos. I needed to do selfies to get them up there to, to show what it's like to grow a beard. So this skill has been very beneficial for the growth of Beard Brand and for our, for our company to grow. By us doing it in-house, it allowed us to produce photographs quicker uh, and save a lot of money as well. I'm a big fan of the Micro Four Thirds system. Now I know everyone's got one of these in your pocket and phones are great uh, and you can create great photographs with a phone as well. But the whole point and shoot photo photograph, while it is photography, it's not really photography. You need to learn what ISO means, you need to learn what shutter speed means, what aperture means, what focal lengths are, what the difference between a fixed lens and a zoom lens. And this video is not going to be about that. There's tons of other good videos on there. but. Get yourself a camera. Now, I talked about four thirds. The reason I like four thirds is because the sensor is smaller. It's called a crop sensor. It's not as big as a full frame, which sucks in terms of like, the actual quality is gonna be less than a full frame, but you get so many more benefits. Your cameras are gonna be smaller. Your lenses are gonna be smaller. The price points are gonna be a lot lower, and you still have that flexibility of getting high-end hardware, stuff that's water resistant, stuff that is meant to hold up and last, and then you've got the dials in there. The dials are really the key. You see, the first camera that I bought was like a, a nicer high-end four-thirds point and shoot. And if I ever wanted to change the aperture or the shutter speed, I had to go through like this menu system and it was just very convoluted, very crazy. But as I've upgraded, you get the dials and it gets really easy to make those adjustments. So adding photography to your life is going to make you look better, which is going to make you feel better, which is going to make you better better. So if you're not looking to improve yourself this year, disregard this whole video. But if you're looking to improve who you are, 
photography, again, needs to be high or less. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, cheers, and beard on.